If there's one thing I can say about 2017, it's that it's been the hardest year of my life. And yet, it's been the best year of my life. I started strong. I got back in shape, kickboxing, weightlifting. I lost 20 pounds. And I've been living a healthy lifestyle ever since. Well, sort of. <laughs> I became more open-minded and accomplished. I took several extended education classes, got certified, and got promoted. I joined a march of peaceful protesters, mothers, sisters, daughters, in New York City and across America, demanding equality and to be heard. I even checked off a goal from my bucket list by traveling all the way to Japan, Osaka, Kobe, Kyoto, Tokyo. I fell in love with the Far East and with matcha. <laughs> matcha everything. Matcha peanuts, matcha tea, matcha ice cream, and matcha cake on my 32nd birthday. Life was good. And then it wasn't. My marriage of five years ended. And being alone was crippling. The only thing staving off depression was work and my art. But without much time to grieve, I had to make an emergency trip to Canada to search for my missing brother, suffering from a form of schizophrenia. And for the first time in a very long time, I prayed. And thankfully, I found him. Feeling lost and confused, I made my way back to the one place I knew I could always find some peace, love, and support. I made the journey back to California after nine years and reconnected with some of my best high school friends who always knew how to pick me up whenever I was down, without even trying. The tides were shifting, and I went with the flow. Back in New York, I found a new home in Brooklyn, living right above another high school friend and her wonderful family. I began taking more time to figure out what I really wanted out of life, and I stopped being so hard on myself. I became more certain of myself, and I began to love myself again. And I even found the time to make some new friends along the way, and strengthen old ones. After all of this, if there's one thing you should know, it's that I am here and I am okay. The tears have all been fought back. The laughter has been uncontrollable. <laughs> My vision and purpose are as clear as they have ever been. And I made it through. And if I can, and you're watching this, you did too. 2018, we will own you. We will own you. So, from me to all of you, Happy New Year.